Hello everyone, my name is Rexby and welcome back to more Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last round we finished off chapter 2 and today we're going to start chapter 3. So uh, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh. Hina's all upset. That's not nice. She's one of my favorite characters. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That will cheer me up. Okay. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, greenfield donuts, donut holes, molasadas. Yes. God of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Wait. Hm. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for bringing the nighttime rule. Right now, for me, dons are absolutely necessary. Oh, I'll, I'll forgive you. Oh, oh, what, what's going on? Um, what, what's that noise? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Hina. Also, who are we playing as right now? Hmm, sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Well, I guess we should check it out then. Is someone there? Okay, that that's super creepy. Well, I guess that's a great start to chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall. And I expected it to start like any other day. But, well, come on now. This is Danganronpa. Things can't start normally. <sighs> this count kind of sucks. Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. And Miss Asahina isn't anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. She says her stomach's hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room. Hmm. Unusual. Normally she's full of energy. Which makes me worry. Yeah. yeah. So, just the seven of us, huh? Seems that way. Well, the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Come on, Taka. No? I guess he's still not in the mood since Mondo turned out to be the murderer. Yeah, I figured as much. Look in his face, he hadn't slept a wink last night because of Mondo. Two of them had become so close and he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And having to watch Mondo get punished. Nothing he could do about it. Yeah, that must have been hard for him. Hello. So, uh, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found a new way out. We have no idea if help's ever gonna come. Uh, just <laughs> depressing to think about. Yeah. Well, we have to make the best of things and live here together in peace. Celeste has been saying that from the start, and it's looking increasingly more likely. But yeah, that seems to be our only hope. But, uh... No. Yeah, I mean, we have every convenience, food, clothes, but we don't have freedom, and freedom is an incredibly important need to some people. Mm. Or to most people, I'd say. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Competition? Discrimination? Victimization? Violence? A society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, in our, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel Pudgy Princess! Huh? Maggie, the drill ship owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl dog boy, robo justice, the galactic king! And then, and then... What I mean is, there's no 2D here! He Fumi needs his anime and manga and visual novels and other stuff like that. 
So the Mars Mind put such basis here to their advantage, bending you to their will. Mm. Well, anyway, since Taka is uh, catatonic, and I'm the oldest one here, I'll step up to take the lead. So we're gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Search. Well, the class trial is over, so there should be new places to investigate. Ah, that's true. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll find some clue this time. Hmm. Well, let's just split up and begin lugging around. It sounds good to me, Sakura. <laughs> well, uh, Celeste doesn't seem to mind, so. Eh. Well, Hifumi has a different mindset, you know. Hifumi's like, no, we need to find a way out of here, and Celeste is like, hey, you know, maybe we'll find, you know, a shop with gothic Lolita clothes, and then they can have more outfits to wear. But, oh, she barged in. <laughs> Okay, so um, Taka, Toko is gonna be Genocide Jill from here on out. I'm, I'm curious, or if she's gonna just switch and flip flop. We'll have to see. <laughs> Nobody called for you. How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Uh, God, this place is amazing! Finally, a place can just be my murderer self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. Now we're hiding in a cave. Does we have another battle to fight? The whole killer with split personality thing is so overdone. Gotta destroy that stereotype. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those slanderous cliches. Um, but aren't you a killer with split personality? And uh, if she were here, weren't here, yeah, I, I, I think that's the case for everyone, Hifumi. Come on, you gotta back me up. Even the biggest stars need l the little people to hold them up. Uh, um, I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, whatever else, we should eat first and um, then start some investigating. And Togo or Genocide Jill, we'll just have to deal with her being around. Yep, eating breakfast with a murderer. And after a much needed but very annoying meal, it's time to look around the school. So, I wonder what new things we can discover this time around. Uh, I guess we should exit uh, the dining hall. Last time around there wasn't really anything in the uh, kitchen. So, I'm not going to bother looking for that this time around. Um, let's see. What new places can we discover then? We're probably going to have to go up a staircase. This is still blocked off. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not going to go that way right now. I guess we should look for uh, a different staircase. There should be another one, right? I I think so. Should we actually check to see if Hina is in her room and will come out? Should we bring her a donut? Let's check. No? Okay, I, I guess uh, we're not going to do that now. Okay, well, time to find some new places then. And uh, I guess that means I should probably just grab my map. Because uh, that's probably going to be the most convenient way to do this, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, go to the map. And let's see. Uh, so we want to go to... To the second floor, maybe? Yeah, let's go there. Why not? Doesn't hurt to uh, check around here. And yeah, it looks like we can indeed go up one more staircase now. Okay, or, or have we been here before? I don't know, this lighting looks familiar. Doesn't it? Yeah, I think, I think this is a floor that we have been to before, but... I think we can go up another f set of stairs then. Okay, yeah, the third floor. Alright, let's see what we can find up here. Third floor, okay. Uh, we have a recording room? Hmm, let's check inside here first. Oh, recreation room, okay. I, I guess that makes more sense. So this is, well... A recreation room. Yep, we can come and relax. Hmm. Well, no normal school would, but yeah, this one. It has a Othello, Shogi, a dartboard, a pool table. Look at this. They even provided us with magazines. 
Those will be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay, I suppose so. Oh, hello there, Monokuma. How nice of you to show up. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ah, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So, uh, are you gonna add to the collection? Sorry, no can do. Even though I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Oops, nothing, never mind, no, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye bye. Huh. What are magazines? Interesting. It would be nicer if we could add some new issues, but I don't think that's the issue we have. It's just like, why would he be in incapable of adding new ones? That is definitely weird. All right, let's uh, look around here. See if we can discover anything interesting. A table here. Hmm, that's nothing interesting. Pool table. Hmm. Okay. Those are the magazines then. All different kinds of magazines, monthly comics, but yeah, without regular updates, what's the point? A dartboard? Hmm. Oh cool, we got a Monokuma coin. Yeah, I. by the way, before this episode, I actually spent all of my uh, Monokuma coins. Uh, because you can actually do it from the menu I discovered today. So uh, I figured I would just uh, spend all of them on the new items to, to try and unlock some new ones. So... Yeah, that's why I'm back at zero. Um, doesn't appear like there's much else in here. Right? Anything you have to say, Celeste? Uh, no, it doesn't appear like she has a lot extra to say. Uh, I guess we'll just leave. It's fine. The recreation room didn't have anything to, uh astoundingly special okay so we have two new classrooms over here as well all right let's see if those contain anything interesting getting tired of this what I, I couldn't read what the bottom line said something about sick of my nose I don't know what that means um, yeah there doesn't really appear to be anything in this room I mean, I kind of get why they have classrooms. I mean, it is a school after all, but it also feels kind of bland when they don't have anything in them at all. Despair Squadron Monokuma. Hmm. Yeah. This doesn't look too special. Anything to add, Sakura? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Windows are also barred up, so escape mm. still looks impossible. Go ahead and check the metal plates if you want, Sakura. I'll leave that to you. But uh, I don't think those are ever going to budge. I have very little faith in that. Okay. Let's go the other way now. Um, because I I'm sure there's another more interesting room up here. We also have Kyoko up here. What do you have to add, Kyoko? Mm, yep, the dirt third floor opened up. Looks like there's a physics lab and art room. <sighs> And a huge machine. Hmm, interesting. We'll have to take a look at those. Um, huh, interesting columns here. This floor looks pretty big, actually. Okay, so this is the art room. Let's uh, start by going in there. Yep, definitely seems like an art room. But something is off or multiple things. Is it this Monokuma statue? Okay, let's actually talk with Hifumi. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> well, look at this equipment. It's scratches that are to sketch. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collect all kinds of sculpting tools. Is that so? I like sculpting fig sculptures and figurines. <laughs> well, I limited myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chironbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Sabura Ron Ponji makes. No idea what any of those are, to be honest. If, if you know and you want to let me know, feel free to do so in the comments. Mm. Ability to express the movement of muzzles, as seen in his Mama Cat series. A little sculpture fairy representing the greatest quality. And known for his Mega Musume series. Mm. Okay. 
They can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But yeah, one of your Elite is missing. You only mentioned three people. Well, Elite Three just sounds stupid. So the empty seat belongs to me. Okay, sure. You you become a part of the Elite Four. Good luck with that, Hifumi. Good luck. I want to check this Monokuma statue. Yep, who would want to make something like this? But, well, it's top quality. It has a coin in it, so... Uh, I won't complain then. Well, I didn't think that was a door that I was entering. I thought I was checking out, like, the drawing. But that's okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm seeing something very peculiar on the floor here. It's a picture of Mondo, Leon, and Chihiro. That, that's odd. Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, yeah, and smiling? What is this? Why only those three? And what are they doing? How come they're smiling? When was it taken? Where's the camera? How did they get it developed? And the window in the classroom is... There's no metal plate. So when this picture was taken, it wasn't at Hope's Peak? Huh. And Monokuma shows up. That's mine, give it back! Uh, well, he snatched that photo away. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of youth. Yeah, what's going on with the picture, Monokuma? I'm not telling you nothing! Ah, uh, no straight answer. No point in asking, but that was very peculiar. Like, all three of them are already dead, so we can't even ask any of them about it either. But it almost makes me wonder, you know, was there more to them? Hmm. Some wooden mallets. And I suppose that is almost all that's in here. And a dolly. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's much else in here, so uh, let's go back to the previous room. Because I wasn't quite done exploring everything here. I didn't mean to enter the uh, room behind it. Okay, well, let's check some things here then. Alright, a Venus statue, very art roomish. Yep, I agree. Can we check this background? Paintings lining the walls. Looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti, but also there's a lot of duplicates in there, but I guess that makes sense for uh, the art direction. It would take a long time to uh, do everything. Mm. Yeah, is that everything? I, I feel like it probably is. Here we have something else. Locker, but nothing inside. Okay. Well, I'll leave this too. Then we just have that physics room that um, Kyoko talked about. So let's see, it should be somewhere over here, I'm assuming. Wow, this floor is pretty big. Okay, so here we have another staircase going up. But of course, you know, that's still blocked off, but we're probably going to unlock that next time around. And then all the way over here is the physics lab. With an elevator? That looks like an interesting door. Alright. The physics lab. Yeah, it looks like a research institute for sure. Hey, do you think this place is a research institute? Mm, no reaction from him. Alright, well this must be the big machine that Kyoko mentioned. Yeah, it's a ridiculously big machine. Watch out! Uh, what? What? Do you want to do some quantum leaping? Uh, that's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate fist is, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay, let me get in there. If you can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo! <laughs> uh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you like leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. Um, hmm. 
that's that's kind of like it's impressive that you figured out time travel but if it's only one minute it has very very limited use but actually i was lying about the whole thing anyway there's no such thing as time machine uh okay well honestly it's just an air purifier an air purifier it can produce clean air no matter where you're at with that thing you can even live on mars but what's with the discom populating gravity and deadly low temperatures you probably don't want to live on mars anyway this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air so don't go messing with it you break it and it's your butt hmm. just an air purifier huh and yeah he is quite mean to uh taka there calling it a time machine okay let's see what else here Mm, physics experiments, yep, lots of materials. Monokuma coin, but nothing too extraordinary. Is there anything else pretty over here? Mm, some purpose, but yeah. I, I don't know enough about physics either. What's on here? In this table. Oh, this is a digital camera. Got some weird anime design on it. Hmm. Okay, it still works. Let's just show the others later then. That sounds like a good plan. Let's go into this back room. This is the equipment room. We should probably not be in here with you alone. And you... Um, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait to be creepy. So tempting? You want to dunk your... Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Of course you would like it. Hmm. It's all strange, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's any actual clue. Maybe we should head to the dining hall. I guess so. I guess we're not allowed to actually explore anything in this room, but... Oh, well. that That's fine, really. Oh, hey. Cool. Hina is out of her room. <laughs> Oh, hey, Hina. Uh, you don't want to talk? Oh, the others kind of. Hina! Huh, she's not sick? Hmm. Well, yeah, she gets uncomfortable when everything, everyone surrounds her. I probably would too. Yeah, I, I just ate a few donuts and it helped. I guess she really likes her donuts. Hmm. But wasn't your stomach hurting? Well, my stomach made me hungry, so, you know. I guess my memory is kind of fuzzy. Mm. Hmm. A goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Asahina is pretty much the same. <laughs> oh, don't, don't call her a goldfish. Yeah, you don't have any room to talk. Oh well, yeah, we were worried about you though, but uh, it, it, it's okay. Besides that, you... Um, your knocks are huge. What the heck, did you convince them to double up on milk products? That's kind of crude. Yeah, Sakura will go Super Saiyan and kill your ass, uh, Genesis Jill, so I'd stay away. But yeah, we should talk about what we found. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, Taka's still not gonna talk. So yeah. Alright, I, I wanna talk with Hina though. Yeah, uh, it it's. Oh, you made one discovery. Is it dungeon related? <laughs> what does that even mean? It's about the nurse's office. There's one on the first floor, right? Right, but it's locked? Well, not anymore. Alright, cool. Is there protein in there or vitamin supplements? Mm, no dice, just some headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. Alright, disappointing, but that's okay. Hmm. Not quite that disappointing, but let's see. Uh, Taka, you're still gonna be quiet, I am assuming. Yeah. I figured as much. Okay, Yasuhira, what did you do? Ah, I saw Biakuya a little while ago. Hmm? Where? Oh, Genocide Jill wants to kill him, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. He was in the locker room, had a huge stack of books, so he must have got them from the library. So that's where he was hiding. I wouldn't let him get away from me. And she runs off. Uh, I'm, we should not concern ourselves. I, I think you might be right, um, Celeste. Kyoko, what did you find? 
Mm, we're running a remarkable physics app. Yep. Machine bigger than anything we've seen. And apparently it's an air purifier. Something like that thing there. It's really that big. Well, yeah. I don't really get it either. But hey, that's uh, what was in there. Um, Sakura? Sure, you can be next. Hmm. Hmm. Search the entire third floor, but all the halls are still blocked off. Or all the windows. Yeah, we just want some blue skies, but we're gonna have to forget about it. I think, uh, I think that's right. But yeah, none of them budged, so... Escape from the third floor also seems to be quite impossible. Celeste, what did you have for us? Ah, yeah, the recreation room. So we should have a bit more enjoyment. A game of Othello? Ah, I might. I might. I've never really played Othello, so I didn't know how to play. But hey, yeah, an art room on the third floor. So now, uh, ooh, who are your favorite anime characters? Speaking of anime, found them while I was looking around. Right. A digital camera? Yeah, it seems like it. Does it work? Yeah, it seems fine. Well, let's see it. What the heck? It's like a kid's toy. Looks like it can store like five pictures. It doesn't have a timer. It appears questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Mm. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel's Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, so Hifumi recognizes it. Of course he does. Super rare price that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera! Huh? Well, where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Hmm, why would it have reappeared there? That's a good question. It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker or buys a second hand shirt. Well, that's it. It's not mint condition. He doesn't need it anymore. Uh, I guess it didn't mean that much. Uh, you want to have it, Celeste? Uh, I mean, sure, I suppose. Alright, we've heard what everyone else has say, so it's our turn. So, uh, yeah, we found something that's kind of been bothering us. Uh, what, what did you find? Well, this weird picture, and Monokuma took it. Like a dirty picture? No, no, not not dirty. Um, a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro. Those two. Yep, those three. And the three of them were laughing. Hmm, the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And even more, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. So it wasn't taken here? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't recall hearing them say they met each other before coming to the school. So yeah, we didn't imagine it, so don't call about that for me, but it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here. Then I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and took that picture. Mm, well, that seems impossible because, well, yeah, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones, you know. Monokuma killed Junko and, well, Saika got killed too. Those weren't illusions. Those were real. They all died. No way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure, figure out when the picture was taken. Hmm. You may have forged it. That That's a possibility. Hmm. Yeah, I, I suppose that's possible. But more importantly, there's something that's been bothering you. Okay, what 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 has been bothering you, Celeste? I guess I should go over and ask then. <laughs> There's something that's been bothering me. Okay, well let's hear it. What's bothering you? It's about Hina. Huh? You said your stomach hurt, but I believe that was a lie. What happened? Um, varies from person to person, but. Everyone has a certain way of showing that they're lying. It's called a tell. You can't hide it, no matter how hard you try. When Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. She's like a mini Pinocchio. Actually, not really. Uh, but your reaction confirmed it. You were lying. That's no fair. Hmm. Well, try to like convincingly if you're going to. But yeah, Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yeah. We figured as much. Why would you lie about it? 
Are you feeling guilty? Uh, no, it's not that. It's just, I mean, I have a reason. A reason? Hmm. What's your reason then? Let's hear it. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. Alright, well, let's hear the truth. I, I saw it. What exactly? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Is there more than one ghost? I mean, ghosts are... See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... I mean... Mm, Saga believes you. Yeah. So yeah, can you tell us exactly what happened? Well, mm, okay, we'll tell you. So it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened. I ended up getting more upset. I tried to cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Donuts again? And ignoring the rule regarding that. I know, I feel bad about that. Anyway, continue. Well, I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then, I started hearing a strange sound. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, I took a look inside and... I saw a human shape surrounded by pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Hmm. Must, you must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. I'm with Celeste in... In real life, I don't believe in ghosts or paranormal things like that. But in this game, I mean, I'm not going to rule out the possibility. So we have to go see for ourselves, right? Let's go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> Waste of time. Maybe, but yeah, no harm in looking, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see the ghost. You, you can stay Yasuhiro if you want. No, he wants to come. Okay, and what about you, Celeste? Mm. I mean, you have a choice, but... Well, everyone's gonna come then? Taka's not saying anything, so... I suppose he's coming too. <laughs>